Both yellow and green section of the sapel are capable of generating quantized voltages referred to the 1 volt per octave scale. Please note, we always talk about quantized voltages for pitch, but it's obvious that we can use these voltages for any CV modulation. Starting from the top, the first pad generates semitones with the number of stages defined by the 2 to the n formula, while the second path, the n plus 1 stages, generates octaves. The n letter we are talking about is a variable used to calculate the number of the quantization stages available for each path. n always goes from 1 to 6, so in the n plus 1 means that stages go linearly from 2 up to 7, while 2 to the n means that stages go from 2 to 64, this time exponentially. Also, this value is independent for the two circuits in order to be able to obtain very different results from them. It is also possible to modulate independently both of these two n values via control voltage. The way the quantized random voltages are generated is really singular for this kind of source. We used a personal approach in order to get more usable and manageable random voltages. Let's have a look at how octave section works and how these voltages are generated. When the pot is counterclockwise, it is in the n equal to 1 state. So we know that stages are equal to n plus 1, and 1 plus 1 makes 2, so 2 stages available that in terms of octaves correspond to 0 volt and 1 volt. Rotating the pot clockwise will gradually add more stages up to 7, so from 0 to 6 volt. The key of this approach is its graduality. In fact, with the potentiometer we are gradually increasing the range of work, leaving to the musician the chance to decide if the new random values should be all within a very limited range or not. The same happens for the semitones generation. When the pot is counterclockwise, it is in the n equal to 1 state. The stages formula here is 2 to the n, so we have two stages that in terms of semitones correspond to 0 and 1 twelfth of a volt. Even here you'll notice that the potentiometer gradually increases the range of work, adding more semitones to the stream of random voltages, one after the other. As we said in the previous video, the generation of both these voltages can be influenced by the probability distribution. See our Vimeo channel to stay updated with new demos, tutorials and new products.